Hi everyone, it's Alan speaking and I'm and you can actually download my project code as it currently stands either here from my web page which is at laosnxt.blogspot.com and that can be found right up there lejosnxt.blogspot.com and you can download it either from this link here or from this link here when you click on the link, you'll be sent to a not great looking web page that is supported by Google Sites. And you are looking for the link here. And when you click on that link, what you will find is that the file will be downloaded to you. And uh, you will open up a zip file. Now, that zip file will contain two uh, specific projects. The first project is called Particle Localization and it's that particular project that you want to run on your PC. The other project is called Robot NXT and that is actually the project that you want to have running on your, uh, on your device that is on the NXT brick and I have such an NXT brick here and I call this NXT brick Monty. My other one is called Wayfinders. Now, let's uh, shut that off and let's actually go over to the Java uh, browsing. And what I want to do now is I want to do the first step is I want to get this file called robot dot java I want to get it onto the device onto Monty to do this the first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you turn the device on and the other thing that you want to make sure that you do is that you have all the Bluetooth settings working on both the device and on your PC then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the robot.nxt project, click on robot.java, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it onto the NXT. So we have the linking, the uploading, Blue Cove uh, is starting up, it's connected to Monty, and the transfer is now in progress and it takes a few milliseconds you might have heard a double beep and that particular double beep is actually the program robot.java running and it's caused right here sound to beeps and I prefer that when I'm doing Bluetooth connections between the device and my PC that what I use are uh, tones to indicate the status of the device. My preference um, is that way because often the LCD screen, which is also getting notifications by the way, such as LCD string, uh, draw string connected, but sometimes the device may be pointing in the wrong way or it may be too far away from me to be able to see the LCD screen. So tones help a lot. What it's doing right now is it is actually waiting for a connection. VCT is a sign Bluetooth wait for connection. So what I want to do is I'm going to start up the class MyMain and that's the class that essentially gets everything running it's a very very simple class it has a main method and all it does is it gets an instance of the localization class the localization class which you can see is right here the localization class has an important method called um, initialize the graphical user interface it goes through a lot of steps to ultimately put the graphical user interface in front of you. Let's start up my main and let's get the graphical user interface working. 
The graphical user interface consists of a series of panels and once the whole thing is running you'll be able to see them. This is called the connection panel, the command panel, the file dump panel, the statistics panel, and this is the particle localization panel, the part that I'm working on right now. Note that I have this kind of set up to suit myself. There's Monty and there's Wayfinder, the device name that I want to connect to. And I also have the ever important connect button. I'm going to now try and connect to Monty. You may have heard a tone. That tone tells me that the connection was made. I get a confirmation on the graphical user interface that the connection was indeed done. I can now start communicating with Monty. I can ask for a relative sense of its battery. And so we can see that the battery is pretty good. I can also get a sense of how far away Monty is from an object because it has an ultrasonic sensor right in the front. I'll hold Monty up in front. You can see the ultrasonic sensor. And what I'll do is I'll get a reading by clicking on the ping button. That gives me a rather long reading. Let's try again. And it says that it's about 21 centimeters from an object that's in front of it. Note that you do get uh, with the ping a series of readings and so that's what you're seeing there. Because it's hard for me to adjust the camera I'm just going to hold Monty up and I'll show you what we can do with the move. For example I can put in 100 and click on move and that makes the wheel spin. I can also do something else like speed up Monty to make Monty move faster and click on move and you can obviously see that the wheels spun very very fast. I can also do the th same thing with turn. Then to disconnect Monty I just click on the disconnect button. I'm asked are you sure you want to disconnect? I click on yes everything is reset. You may have heard that tone. That tone indicates that Monty did indeed do the disconnection. I'm going to switch Monty off now and I'll show you the consequences of trying to connect to Monty without it being turned on first. If we click on the connect button um, there will be an attempt to try and find Monty, but what we get is an exception from open Monty. Can't fail to open Monty error. It's really important when you're making the connection using the my code that you make sure that the uh, device is started up and it is ready to f to uh, to find a connection and then attempt the connection. Remember that you are going to have to modify the code to suit yourself. I've set it up for Monty and Wayfinder and also for its particular Bluetooth addresses. You're going to have to change that to make the code work in the way that you want. To close the graphical user interface, click on the X. You are always asked to be sure uh, for, uh, for um, a confirmation and then we're done. So that's pretty much all there is to using my code. Remember the code is not perfect, it is still under development, particularly the part that deals with the Monte Carlo localization. I hope that you found this helpful and I hope that uh, you will go to my blog. If you have any comments or questions you can leave them here and remember that you can also share by uh, your comments and also my uh, blog on Twitter and also on Facebook using the convenient Twitter and Facebook icons. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that you found this demonstration helpful. Goodbye.